Hello YouTubers, in this video I will be talking about quadcopter flight modes and doing that with OpenTX because I was searching for this information for so long uh, that I decided making a video would be maybe helpful for somebody else. Make sure to let me know if it helped you, because it's good to know if my content helps anyone. So, uh, the problem was using OpenTX software, firmware, on 9x con well, transmitter. FL Sky or Turnage, it doesn't matter, they are all the same hardware. So, I am running OpenTX. And there are ton of information about the ER9X, but not OpenTX uh, about well flight modes, and they are using well complicated methods uh, mostly. So here is a simpler one. Uh, what's the End goal. End goal is to use these two buttons, switches, to uh, have access to six flight modes. So this position would be one flight mode, in the middle second, bottom third. Now this thing down defines fourth, then fifth, and now sixth. Uh, position. So uh, the logic I went by, well it doesn't matter, anyway. Uh, so in year 9x I see uh, often how they try to make you use like, well they don't define just the uh, position, let's say this is one position, this is one switch, this is second position, this is second switch. It's not defined like this, it's defined like you have 50% uh, of three position put on one that's in the middle and then there is 75% minus 25 offset 50 and well, <laughs> pretty, pretty complicated. So let's uh, show you the way I I found on the internet how you can uh, just make, just define six buttons. That's all we want. We want to have six buttons defined and then uh, give values for them in the fifth, let's say fifth channel. So let's say this is fifth channel in minus hundred and all the way to the sixth uh, position, that's the fifth channel in plus 100. Uh, if I sh show you down here, all, mm, all channel values go from minus zero, minus 100 to plus 100. That was the total I was uh, moving right now. It's just to show you that's the channel value that goes from transmitter to receiver on the quad. And that's what's used by uh, quadcopter software to decide what flight mode to use. So, defining six buttons. Let's show that one first. Uh, in OpenTX there is one pretty feature like logic, log what was it, logical buttons, I guess, logical switches. Let's make a new model, let's say this one. Now, this is a new model, nothing is defined. Uh, mixer is, mixer is where, um, uh, after mixer, the values, th this is where 
uh, values go to your quadcopter or whatever you're flying anyway to the receiver on the other end and now at the moment it's outputting just four channels this is for speed jaw and elevator and what is it aileron so we need a fifth one and we will deal with that one later first let's define those six buttons this is what you are mostly should be interested about how to define just six positions as switch six different switches so this will be done under logical switches men menu it can also be done with uh, OpenDX companion on your computer side I'm showing you on the transmitter now L1, L2, L3 and so on these all mean logical button 1, 2, how many, however many, 12, 12 buttons now first button let's edit this it must have value and this means one switch plus other switch uh, equals logical one that's how, how I translate it now we need uh, to put ID one uh, ID this is a three-way button to zero this is uh, the bottom uh, top position is zero then one then two so zero and this is aileron this also in zero it's uh, this is zero aileron to zero uh, how was it if it's without exclamation mark then it's one if it's with exclamation mark it means it's zero also translated as uh, being off so like here you can see you can also make logic with uh, id zero is not on the position of id zero to use with some other logic anyway aileron off defines button one now let's go down and if i change the value you can see the l1 goes from bold to not bold this means it's uh, at the moment in this in this position or not in this position if i push this to zero this goes bold meaning this logical button switch is at the moment activated now let's do two more and you can do the rest by yourself i am pretty sure Aileron off and let's define the third one as uh, let's say id zero at zero and aileron on this means the second stick down now let's uh, zoom in and you see it's at the moment l1 l2 l nothing l3 now we have defined three buttons and we can give weight to these three buttons from minus 100 to plus 100 let's exit out of this menu and go to go to mixes now mixes def uh, here we define the button to output channel 5 value to our flight controller that will decide based on that value what flight mode it's currently on I'll show you that on the computer too now channel 5 source for channel 5 will now be this is important we are uh, here is the switch and here is the source uh, I can't properly explain the source uh, meaning for the source here 
but we are going to select max. Uh, I refer this. Uh, I refer to this as like max value of a given switch. So we are selecting switch L1. Now, so this will use the maximum value weight, however you want to say, of possible L1 switch range. So let's say it's uh, minus 100. Now, let's make a copy of this. I made a copy of it. It's also uh, working on under channel 5. Mm. Now I'm going to edit this and give it value. Let's say 75, minus 75. And switch will be L2. Logical to and also maximum uh, range of its uh, possible value. Now let's see channel 5. Uh, I, okay, let's see the value it, it outputs. You can see this on the main screen. Here, you saw that I was changing throttle. I'm not sure if this lighting is good enough. Uh, I was changing a throttle minus 100 moving up to 100. Now fifth channel here. Oh, let's change that. So actually, where was it? There. Here you can see sticks. This is throttle stick. Whoop, it's channel a third channel one two three now uh, you can also see that see here are four channels fifth channel is at the moment minus 100 if i change it to second you see it's minus well 75 this is clear and simple channel value now uh, now let's go back to our model setup and define the third one to copy this max value of switch L3 and let's say it's well let's say it's zero excuse me <coughs> now you might want to see how does it look like on the software end. Uh, now we have defined three buttons uh, and they act like this. This is one, one position, second position, third position. It's in the zero position right now. Uh, you can do uh, all the positions you want. And now let's show you on the flight planner you need initial setup flight modes uh, up here is the current channel value it reads from the uh, transmitter and it reads uh, 992 right now if I switch it to second position it reads uh, 1122 and third is one five zero four and you can see the flight mode changing based on this value those values are also described back here on this list uh, and by these values it decides uh, what flight mode to use right now and so if uh, let's say oh, it's too big uh, flight mode one. Okay, let's change flight mode two now. I changed it to flight mode two, but the uh, flight mode didn't change because the value changed too little. It changed from 992 to 1122, and 
that's not enough so what do we do this mi minus 75 wasn't enough we need to give it more minus for it to change on that end let's go to model setup uh, mixer and it's minus 75 right now now you can do this live pretty much while watching a computer you go in here you go to this weight and left and right will change this value and it changes on uh, well hmm, how to use it how to say it hmm, it changes on the fly <laughs> well, anyway i'm removing this from the screen and showing you this upper value here now i'm changing it and you can see it change when i'm changing the value here and let's change it until it goes to the next flight mode here it's on the next flight mode now one two four four and this is one two three one two one three sixty let's give it a little more so it's in the let's say middle of this range and in this way you can go through all six flight modes and tune them exactly to where you want them to be just using one number just changing this one weight number uh, from minus 100 to 100 on each switch and not farting around with offsets and minus minus from that button plus to this button bar so that was a relief to find and i hope this helps some other people too i will show you my own current setup let's say model setup let's use this no it doesn't look like this okay go in here and here are my own setup go down one position second third fifth and up to sixth I forgot first. I let me show you on the computer. I used a bit different logic. I used um, uh, both buttons up is a loiter mode. I know mostly people like to start from well, stabilize, also known as standard. Uh, but uh, both sticks up. It's in the loiter mode, so. I'm going to arm the quad in loiter mode. This um, has a benefit. Uh, your quad will not arm in loiter mode unless there is uh, a good um, GPS signal. So it's like a um, safety thing also. Uh, if it arms in loiter mode, fine, it's now armed, let's say. I am going to pull this down. This is the stabilized also now standard flight mode I fly up I push it up to altitude hold from there up to lighter now if I pull it oh, I'll show you on the computer it stabilize it will be go, it goes to uh, altitude hold then to lighter now if I pull it down it's my fifth mode it's also lighter and not fifth fourth so it doesn't change if i do this it doesn't change uh, from later i come down to return to launch and last one is land this is also for this let's say i'm in loiter mode something happens i want to uh, land fast i just pull both down and it, it goes to landing so that's it i hope it helps somebody else using open dx